Hey everybody, my name is Mary Shen and I'm a general surgery resident from the University of Michigan. I'll be presenting today on racial variations in wait times in bariatric surgery. Thank you all for joining me and thank you to SAGES for allowing me to present this data. So here are our disclosures. So we know that OBC rates are rising and we know that bariatric surgery is the most effective and the most durable treatment for obesity and weight-related comorbidities. However, utilization rates among non-white patients is low, even though the prevalence and burden of disease is higher among these patients. So we were really interested in understanding why non-white patients had lower rates of bariatric surgery utilization in our state. But in order to identify potential reasons for disparities to care, we needed to better understand and characterize the non-white patient population. So for this study, our goal was to compare patient demographics, socioeconomic status, comorbidities, and wait times between white and non-white patients. So our study analyzes data from the Michigan Bariatric Surgery Collaborative, which is a statewide consortium of surgeons performing bariatric surgery at 42 teaching and non-teaching hospitals. This captures over 95% of patients undergoing bariatric surgery in the state of Michigan. Participating sites use centrally trained nurses and validated instruments to submit data on patients undergoing surgery, which now includes data on over 100,000 patients. So using this data registry, we performed a retrospective cohort study that includes all patients who underwent a primary bariatric procedure between the years of 2006 and 2020, and those who rep reported their race in the baseline survey. This included 73,000 patients, representing approximately 73.8% of the registry. So we compared demographics, in including self-identified race, indicators of socioeconomic status, and insurance status in the context of wait times. So we looked at the following variables. We looked at sex, BMI, and indicators of socioeconomic status, including income, college education, whether patients were employed or on disability, and uh, insurance type, which included Medicare, Medicaid, private insurance, and no insurance. <clears throat> we also looked at self-identification of race, which we recognize is not an explanatory variable, but a way to examine underlying soci sociocultural reasons for these disparities that can evolve and change over time. Um, and so we also looked at all types of bariatric surgery. We also looked at the following comorbidities. And then we also looked at wait times, which we defined as the time between the index preoperative appointment with a surgeon until the day of surgery. So from a bird's eye view, non-white patients represented 26% of the study cohort and included 18,000 patients. White females had the highest rate of utilization at 58%, and non-white males had the lowest rate of utilization at 4%. We wanted to take a closer look at our non-white patients, which you can see here. Non-white patients included a wide variety of racial groups. Black patients represented 63% of the non-white patients, followed by Hispanic patients, at 18%, um, American Indian and Alaska Native patients represented 2.3% of the sample. Middle Eastern, Asian, Native Hawaiian, and Pacific Islanders represented less than 1% of the sample, with 11% of patients identifying as multiple or mixed race, and 3.1% identified as other. We had hoped to run a multivariate analysis at this point, looking at the wait times between each self-identified race, but we were limited by inadequate sample size, and so we had to re-aggregate the data, which you will see here. So looking at white patients versus non-white patients, even though white, not, the non-white patients were more likely to be younger, non-white patients were more likely to be disabled, more likely to have lower incomes, and more likely to have severe obesity, which we defined as a BMI over 50. Also, non-white patients were more likely to be on, on Medicaid. So overall, non-white patients had longer wait times, waiting approximately a month longer than their white counterparts. We then stratified by insurance status, given the fact that certain insurances have different requirements for preoperative weight loss prior to undergoing bariatric surgery, which could affect wait times, as we saw in Dr. Somerset's excellent talk. After stratifying by insurance, insurance status, non-white patients still waited longer than their white counterparts for all types of insurance, and these were all statistically significant. And as we can see, non-white Medicaid patients wait the longest time at a median of 243 days. And even in patients with no insurance, non-white patients still waited longer. So in conclusion, non-white patients pre present with higher rates of severe obesity, despite non-white males representing only 4% of all cases. Non-white patients have uh, more socioeconomic disadvantages and longer wait times. This was true even after stratifying by insurance type. 
and non-white patients represent a diverse group of races, which is an important consideration when we think about strategies to number one, identify areas where structural racism in the bariatric surgery process is present, and number two, to improve equitable utilization of bariatric surgery for these patients. Thank you.